Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be doing a setup tutorial and rundown of NordVPN for the Amazon Fire TV Stick. And I'm even going to connect to a different version of Netflix, just so you guys can see whether or not they actually work. And if you are looking to get started with NordVPN, I do have a massive 70% discount link down below in the video description. Let's get started. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm over here on my Amazon Fire TV Stick dashboard. And I'm just going to be giving you guys a rundown of NordVPN, the settings you can adjust, the servers that are available, and then I'll also be connecting to Netflix in real time and see whether or not I can watch a different version of the platform. So if you don't already have uh, NordVPN downloaded onto your Amazon Fire TV stick, I'll just quickly show you how you can do that. So you just want to go up to the top navigation menu, go over to the left hand side, and then you just want to go and search for NordVPN and you only have to put in the first couple of letters and it will come up as a recommended app. So I'll just click on this one. And as I already have uh, NordVPN downloaded on my account, it's just prompting me to open the app. However, if you don't have it installed, uh, there'll be a little yellow icon. So you just want to go and click on that one that will install and download. And then you can just go ahead and open that one and it will prompt you to kind of log in with your account username and password. So if you are looking to get started with NordVPN, I've got a link down below in the video description and this will open you in a new tab. And from there you can select your desired plan um, from the length and the price as well. So once you have that set up, you can go and open up NordVPN. And as I'm already logged in guys, it's putting me straight into my personal account. And from the get-go, it's giving me a few different options um, up the top here. So we have the Connect Now feature. So this will automatically connect you to the fastest server closest to your proximity. So if you're using third-party apps on your Amazon Fire TV Stick, this is a really great feature as it will automatically detect your location and connect you to a fast server. And it will also change your IP address so your internet service provider can't see what you're watching and downloading. So that's a really great feature if that's what you're looking to use NordVPN for. However, you also have the option to go and search for a particular city, uh, region or country. And then we also have a recommended server here as well. So we also have the settings on the left hand side if I go to the menu. So we also have other countries we can connect to, speciality servers. Um, so for P2P torrentine, a dedicated IP address, Onion over Onion, Double VPN, and Obfuscated as well. And if I go back to the menu, I can go to Settings, go on this tab, and then I have a few additional options that I can select, such as CyberSec, Allow Location Network Discovery, uh, Custom DNS if you're looking to use this on other platforms, and use of TCP as well. And then if I go back, I can go to Auto Connect as well. So whenever you go and open up your Amazon Fire TV stick, this will allow NordVPN to automatically connect in the background. And this will save you a lot of time as you manually won't have to turn it off and on every time you use it. And if I go back uh, one more, I can go to Trusted Apps. And from here, we have the ability to set up split tunneling. So this is a really awesome feature, especially if you're going to be using your normal day-to-day -day apps on your Amazon Fire TV stick and maybe third-party apps that you obviously don't want your internet service provider uh, to see what you're using them for. So you do have that functionality here, which is really awesome to see. So now before I go and connect to a particular server, the first thing I want to show you guys is just a before and after of my Netflix account, just so you guys can see NordVPN actually works for changing your location. So if I go back to the home page of my Amazon Fire TV stick, I'll go to Netflix. And I'm actually located in Australia, and this means I miss out on thousands of thousands of TV shows and movies that can only be found on the other versions of Netflix. And just to show you guys an example of this, I'll just go and search for a TV show uh, called The Office, which is one of my personal favourites. So I'll just go and quickly search for that one. Search for that one. And as you can see guys, I do not have access to this particular TV show and heaps of others as well. However, I can quickly change that in just a couple of clicks. So I'll go back to the home page. I'll go back to NordVPN. And from here, I can go and search for a particular location. So at the time of making this video, uh, the office is on the American version of Netflix. 
So I can just go and search for the United States. And again, I only have to put in the first couple of letters. And then I can go to the United States, click on that location. And as you can see guys, we now have the kind of connecting notification. And once this is highlighted in green, that just notifies me that I am now connected. So if I go back to the home page, now, before I open up Netflix, what I want to do is actually go stop the application and then relaunch it, as sometimes Netflix has a couple of caching issues and it gets confused as to which version of Netflix it's actually trying to connect to. So to circumvent that, we just want to go to Settings, and then go to Applications, and then Manage Installed Applications, and then I'll go all the way down to Netflix. I'll go force stop and then I'll go launch application. So anytime you change uh, the kind of version of Netflix you're trying to connect to, I really recommend you to force stop it and then relaunch it as this will give you a kind of fresh start on that version of Netflix you're trying to connect to. So I'll go back into my account and now guys I'll go and search for the office again. Search for that one. And as you can see guys, we now have access to the Office TV show. And if I scroll down a little bit further, we also have some additional titles that didn't show up in my original search, um, such as Parks and Recreation. And if I sc keep scrolling down, as you can see guys, there's heaps of other titles, Criminal Minds, Avengers. And this really is only scratching the surface as to the amount of content that you can find. So I did make a video um, previously, and I did get this far with Netflix and it actually wasn't able to let me play any of the content. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is just go play a really small snippet of this TV show when connected to the American version of Netflix, as I want to show you guys the real world speeds of what it's like to use our NordVPN. So I'll just go and click on this one, press play, and again guys, this will be in real time with no edits whatsoever, and it looks like it's about to um, finish loading, and as you can see guys, this is now working uh, with no issues whatsoever. So as you can see from that test guys, NordVPN works extremely well for accessing the American version of Netflix, and also if you are looking to use third party apps, NordVPN is also a great contender at hiding your IP address from your internet service provider, so you can feel confident that whatever you're watching is completely hidden. So there you have it guys, that's my kind of setup tutorial of NordVPN for the Amazon Fire TV Stick. And again, if you are looking to get started with them, I do have a massive 70% discount link down below in the video description. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Um, if you have any additional questions or comments on NordVPN or the Amazon Fire TV Stick, I do plan on making more videos in the upcoming months. So feel free to drop those down below and I'll be more than happy to help you out. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.